Microsoft SharePoint Online. Learn about and use SharePoint lists. In SharePoint, you'll find that libraries and lists function in a similar way. I'm just going to use a simple list that I've created named Employees. I'll click on Site Contents and find my Employees list. To sort this list, for example, by first name, I can click here or click here and toggle back and forth between ascending and descending. I can do the same thing with last name. Now I could certainly have more information here, but to keep it simple, we just have names for now. I'd likely build upon this and add more information. We can filter as well. Let's say I want to find anyone in my list named Maria. Quick and easy. I can then clear the filter and I'm back to how it was. Up here I have an Items tab, which allows me to add new items, but I'd likely click here on New Item. I have additional groups like Manage, Actions, Share and Track, Tags and Notes, and Workflows. Next is the List tab. I can easily do a quick edit to view and manage list items like a spreadsheet. I can also create and modify my views. As you can see, we have a tags and notes group, share and track. I can export my list to Excel, which is very cool. I have additional customize options, and finally settings. If I click on list settings, you can see this is very similar to the library settings. General settings, permissions and management, communications, and so on. To get back, I'll simply follow the breadcrumbs and click on Employees. There are so many different kinds of lists that you can work with in SharePoint. They could be tasks, even calendars. They all have these choices, as in the ability to make setting changes, sort, filter, add items to the list, make changes, and even connect to other applications. And that's a bit about SharePoint lists and SharePoint Online.